good YouTube welcome back to the channel it's your boy LJ don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's get right into it today I'm be installing these uh, daytime running lights on my 2013 Ford Fusion and just to change the front of it just a little bit um, I see how the newer cars all have the little strip down at the bottom around their fog lights and I was like hey I can make mine look just as new as theirs even though it's 2013 but let me show you what I got right here I got, the only thing it is is just a bezel, you just pop out your old fog light bezel around it and then it already comes pre with the LED strip in there and it comes with a little plug right here in the back side and it comes with like a little harness that I have laid up here, it comes with this little harness, yeah. it's already got a fuse on your power, of course you got to ground it and this orange wire is your turn signal. And the white wire you see running here is for your ACC. So when the car is on, and then you turn your switch to your light, the LED will come on as well. So, like I was saying, I think I got these. I paid 75 or 80 for these. And they just pop out the old ones. And these new ones just pop right in. And then, let's get started. Alright, now this is the back side of the fog light. As you see, we got the fog light here. We're going to take off, there's four little screws here that takes that off. And the uh, socket you're going to need is uh, seven eighths, I think it is. Can't really see, it's been rubbed off. I'm going to take off these. There. Take off those four bolts, and then your fog light right here just comes off. All right, and then now to get this out, this is what we're trying to get out. You see these little silver tabs, depending on whatever color car, color your car is. You're gonna just push these tabs back and pull the black piece around it. You're gonna push down and pull. Bottom out, try not to break it. Boom. All right, and there we go. We got them out, and I just got these like last year. I switched over from the flat black to the gloss black, and I just painted this around here silver, like to match my car. But yeah, they're gone now. We're gonna get rid of these. Oh, before you get rid of this. Be sure to take off the little self-tightening tabs off of here and put them onto your new ones. So the screws will tighten up when you go put the new one back in. So those just peel off. And there's only two on the top because the other ones are in the bottom already. <coughs> so get rid of that. And then we're going to take our new bezel with the daytime running strip in it. And they're labeled left, right, so there's no way you can get it wrong. So you're just going to put the tabs back to where they were, where he is, where they was on the other one, put that one, and then I think the other one was over here on the side, uh, yeah, on the side, boom, and they're back in there, alright, and then you're going to just put this one back in as the same way as we took it out, you might have to push from the front a little bit, to get everything to line back up to go in. Just take your time so you don't break one of these tabs off.
start working it in there, they'll start popping in there real quick and easy. I'll get a good look from the front side so y'all can see what it looks like. Back. You can tell a big difference already. With just those little details. Now, to the fun part that everyone loves, the wiring part. All right, so now we're gonna take this headlight out. And to take the headlight out, there's uh, two bolts right here, as you can see up under the bottle. There's one here, and there's one on the other side of this black piece right here. It's real easy to get to. And then, there's two on the top. There's two flat here bolts on the top. There's one here. One and then two right here. Now we got those four bolts out. Just gonna lift the headlight up and pull. And then there's a wire harness right here. We're just gonna pull the tab. And then there go the headlight. All right, now that we have the headlight out, now it's time to find which wire is the turn signal wire. And I'm about to show y'all something like really cool to like help y'all find out which wire is the turn signal wire. So what you want to do is, if you got if you, this right here will save your life right here. It's a test of like, you'll find the ground under your car. And right here I just grounded it the same place I got my underglows at, this boat right here. And you're going to want to go get in your car and turn your car halfway on and turn on your left turn signal. So you see the turn signal splashing by the, by the mirror? You're gonna take your test light, and then you wanna come right here to your harness. Say this is your harness for your headlight, and you wanna go ahead and just touch in these holes, and then the and then the um the light will flash. You see it? That's how you find out your turn signal when the power flashes like that. So that's flashing, so that means that when you come back here to the back, this green wire, yep, this green wire right here is your turn signal. Because it lines up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this plastic back a little bit right here. And we're gonna pop off this electrical tape. And then we're gonna just script right here just a little bit. So that way we hook our orange up to this. All right, so I got my wire scrippers here. So we're gonna just take the wire, this one wire, and we're just gonna put it into the wire scripper. And we're just gonna script back just a little bit. See how I pull back just a little bit of it? So that's all we need right there. And then we're gonna take our harness Remember it said the orange wire is the turn signal wire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and strip this back a little bit. All 
like that. Pull it back like that, twist it, and we're just gonna wrap it as round as tight as we can get it so that way we gotta worry about it moving. And then we're gonna just, uh, I'm gonna do it like that for now because I got something else coming for y'all later on this week. So we're just gonna slap on some electrical tape to that, so we ain't gotta worry about it going nowhere. Now we got the turn center wire identified. Now it's time to ground it. We gotta ground the harness so that way the light will work. We're gonna ground it and hit it with the power. So I'm gonna plug it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the harness up to the to the LED strip right here. Now we're gonna take our little harness here that they gave us. So now that we got the turn signal figured out, now we're going to figure out which wire has constant power to it. So that way I ain't got to run a hot to my battery because I already got enough stuff plugged up that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our test light again and if it stays constantly red, that wire is our power, our constant power. And as we can tell, it's the very first plug here. So it's the, the blue wire at the back. So we're going to do the same exact thing to that wire to the blue wire as we did to this other one on the other side. So we're gonna slide this back and take our wire scrippers here. We're then gonna just strip right here. So that way we ain't gotta cut, we just strip something back. Now we're gonna take our white, which is ACC, and we're gonna take our battery, and we're gonna hook it up to right there where we just screwed that back a little bit at. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Screw that. We could have cut it. Cut that off of there. We're gonna go like that. And then we probably can go in and cut this wire to match the length of this one right here beside it. Alright, now we got that script. And we're gonna twist these together. See if I can support it some more a little bit. Boom. Get these back. We're gonna twist these two together because we need these two to be together. This is our power and our uh, ACC right here. So we're gonna just wrap it around this power right here we did. We're just gonna do this for now. But like I said, I got a surprise coming later on in the week. Boom. 
we're gonna take our tape and we're gonna just wrap it up Now we got that wrapped up. It's time for us to hit our ground. All right, so now we got the turn signal hooked up and we have the constant power hooked up. And so now the only thing left is the ground. So what I did was I extended it a little bit because the ground they give you the harness is like mad short. So what I did was I extended it and put one of these rings on it so I can slide up under my bolt, the same one where I got my uh, the cars grounded to and put my grill lights. So we're going to ground it right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this under here and I'm going to turn the lights on and let y'all see what it looks like. off right here so that way we can put our ground up under here and secure it looks like I'm trying to storm on us so hurry up get this done Alright, I'm just gonna tighten it back down. Oh, Now we got everything, we got a power, and we got our ground hooked up. So now I'm gonna let y'all see what it looks like. Look like my grill lights came on real quick. All right, as you see, we got power. And this is gonna be on when our uh, part lights is on. So that way my fog lights does not have to be on and won't overpower the strip. So you'll just see the part lights in my headlights, and you will see the um the daytime running script in the fall. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the turn signal on as well. Alright, so we're gonna 
Alright, that's what it looks like when the turn symbol on. Alright, so now we're gonna do this other side real quick and I'm gonna let y'all see what it looks like both together. Alright, so now we got the other side done. The other side is exactly like this side. The only thing you gotta worry about on this side is plugging it up and finding the turn symbol the way I showed you on the driver's side to the passenger side. And then everything, all the power and everything is on the driver's side. So now the only thing left to do is to button everything back up and put the bumper back on and we're good to go. And I'm going to let y'all see what it looks like both with just the, the daytime running strip on. Let me turn it up first. Alright, so that's it with just the part lights on. That's going to look, that's dope. That is like beautiful. That's the look I'm looking for. But yeah, I will have the link in the description for these. So if you guys want to go get them yourself, y'all will know exactly where to go get them. I'll just go down in the description and click the link and you can get you some too. But it's like a storm's really like about to come in. So we're probably going to wrap this up for the day. Um, comment down below if you have any questions. I try to reply back to all you guys. So just comment down below in the comments and I will get back with you. And don't forget to like the video so that way we can get into the algorithm and I can keep pushing out more and more and more content for you guys, man. I'm trying to help y'all build y'all fusions the way I build mine. I'm just trying to inspire you guys and show y'all that you can do the majority of this stuff at your own house. The only thing you need is the knowledge and the confidence. So that's what I'm here to give you guys. So, yes, uh, I will be gladly if you guys comment down below and let me know when you finish this and you did it to your car. Shoot me a picture to my IG at LJRaw and let me show, show me what it looks like. Alright, and I'm going to link to this um, video below for my bumper remove video. If you guys don't know how to remove your bumper, I have that video already as well. I did it like a year back, so that's what you guys can do y'all's. Alright, a storm is coming up really, really fast, so I'm about to end this video. And it's your boy LJ, and I'm out.